Congresswoman Kat Kamak, Republican from the great state of Florida, joins us now. <laughs> right, Congresswoman, this is good news for you guys, isn't it? You're a Republican. The economy ranks as the top issue for voters. You're looking good with polls like this. <laughs> yeah, well, good to see you too, Stu. And uh, listen, I don't ever want us to get to a place in this country where we would rather sure. see the man sure. in the White House fail rather than our country succeed. Right. So while, yes, politically those numbers are a telling sign that things aren't great for the Biden administration and Republicans, of course, have the solution and the plan to fix that and get us back on track, it's terrible. I don't ever want everyday Americans like my family to suffer as a result of poor policy. But that's exactly what we have seen out of this Biden administration. Administration. They are not designed to help people. The economic policies of this administration are designed to trap people. It's all about dependency and control. That is the liberal left agenda. It's going your way at the moment, though. I mean, the, the president's uh, approval poll is down to 37%. Yeah, I mean, think about this. In every single poll that I know our team has run, when I talk to folks back home across the country, they all say that it's the economy. That is the thing that is really at the top of their list that keeps them up at night. Will they have enough money to put gas in the car and put groceries in the fridge for seniors? Are they able to afford medications? These are real concerns that people have. They don't care about the partisan fights in Washington. They want to know that there's a plan to fix it. But instead, all we get is more and more spending. You can't tax and spend your way into prosperity, Stu. That's you true. know that better than anybody. I do indeed. Now, a lot of fe <laughs> your fellow representatives from Florida uh, have been made endorsements for the 2024 race. Most of them are going with Trump. Who are you supporting? Yeah. Oh, Stu, we were just back at this last week. And remember, you, you, you slipped up and messed up on me, so I'm going to hold you what? to it. What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? I think you were trying to call me a diplomat, and you ended up calling me a Democrat. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember that. I'm so sorry. I'm with so, you. Are we having, are we having memory issues yeah. like oh. Biden? Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> You've got 30 <laughs> seconds left. What do you want to say? <laughs> Listen, I'm just going to tell you what I told you last week. I am 100 percent confident that the next president of the United States will hail from the Sunshine State. We've got incredible uh, talent, incredible uh, men to run. Yeah. I am excited for the field. You are a diplomat. And I got it right this time. Ah, you got it right. Cat, come out. Come <laughs> with us again soon, please. Thank you very much.